Tuingie matumizi ya lugha ni alama 40 Ah eleza jinsi kitamkwa u kinavyozuiliwa Kinazuiliwa vipi kitamkwa u Yaani hapa unaulizwa kitamkwa huu uzui uzu, utamkwa vipi Utamkwa vipi Aha. Ulimi huinuliwa juu huku kipinda nyuma. U. Utamkwa pia mdomo kama umeviringwa. Nakumbuka viringwa inanaa kwa sababu unatolewa katika hii ni katasi ya sarufi kwa hivyo unaondolewa ile nusu alama. Usieke kistari wakati unaanza anza kwa rufi kubwa na usisahau kuweka kitoni ni muhimu Swali la pili andika tofauti moja kati ya sauti ta na da Ta ni sauti siguna ta siguna da ni sauti guna Tulisema nini kuhusu sauti zisoguna tulisema nini Kuna kitu tulisema kuhusu ukitaka kuzijua unasema nini Ukitaka kujua sauti si guna. Tulisema unafanya nini? Unakumbuka maneno yapi? Kwani mmesahau? Ni maneno yapi? Faith husoma kama sisi. Sauti si guna. Si ndio? Faith husoma kama sisi shuleni pia tunampa chapati dhumni waya. Hizo sauti zote ni sauti si guna. Si tulisema hivyo. Wale walikuwa kidato cha 4 kusini. Si wanajua? Hivyo ndo namna rais ya kujua sauti si guna iso guna. Kwa hivyo sasa ukijua si guna hizi nimekwambia si guna unachukua rufi ya kwanza. Swali la ba. <coughs> Bainisha kiima na chagizo katika sentensi ifuatayo. Kiima ni nini? Eh? Kiima ni nomino. Niuelezea nini? maneno ambayo uelezea kuhusu utendo a kuhusu mtu kitu au hali fulani si ndio <coughs> ukapewa sentensi mwanajamii mwana yule alijibu maswali yote kwa makini kwa makini kiwa pamoja ndiyo chagizo kwa hivyo kwa sababu chagizo hizi kuwa neno moja haiwezi kuwa tuseme ni kielezi peke yake hapana inafanya kazi kama kielezi lakini lazima iwe zaidi ya neno moja si ndio kwa hivyo chagizo ni kwa makini na kiima ni mwalimu. Masamani ni mwalimu ama ni mwanajamii? Mwana Tumeambiwa nini? Mwanajamii, kwa hivyo ni mwanajamii yule. Unaweza kusema mwanajamii yule, unaweza kusema mwanajamii bado utapewa. Si ni sawa? Swali la cha eleza maana ya vitenzi vishirikishi. Vitenzi vishirikishi ni vitenzi vinavyoonyesha tabia fulani iliyopo au isikiopo kwenye kitu ni vitenzi vinavyoonyesha tabia au hali siku hizo wanauliza maana hivyo huonyesha tabia au hali fulani iliyopo au isiyokuepo kwa mtu au kitu kumbuka kumbuka tu huonyesha tabia au hali unapata ile maana ya vitenzi vishirikishi pili vitenzi ushirikisha vitu mbalimbali kihali kitabia kimazingira Tunga sentensi moja moja kuonyesha aina mbili za vitenzi vishirikishi Kwa hivyo umetunga sentensi gani
Umetunga sentensi gani? Nyosha mkono unisome ile sentensi. Naam. At eti? Eh, amekuwa shambani ile amekuwa, si ndio? Amekuwa pale ndio kitenzi kishirikishi vizuri. Hivyo hicho ni kitenzi kishirikishi kikamilifu, si ndio? Kisha kuna kishirikishi nini? Kipungufu. Ametumia alikuwa. Hiyo hiyo ni kitenzi kishirikishi kikamilifu. Kwa hivyo kitenzi kishirikishi eh, kipungufu kiko wapi? Hiki chake kimekamilika, si ndio? Haya kipungufu inanaonyesha nafsi peke yake kwa mfano. Naam. Eh? Vizuri. Umesema kamene ni daktari. Vizuri. Eh? <laughs> Nile ni ni kitenzi kishirikishi kipungufu, vizuri. Yakinisha <coughs> sentensi ifuatayo. Mtoto hakufundishwa wala kupewa vitabu. Kuna watu wana, wanazungumza vitu hapo alafu wanacheka. Kwa hivyo kuyakinisha ni kukubali, si ndio? Kwa hivyo sentensi utapata imekanushwa. Kwa hivyo hakufundishwa wala kupewa vitabu nasema mtoto alifundishwa na akapewa nini? Vitabu. Swali la e, eleza maana ya silabi. Kwa hivyo nitakupa maana tatu za silabi, utachagua moja. Ni kipashio kinachotamkwa kwa pamoja kama fungu moja. Au unasi unaweza kusema ni muungano wa sauti unaotamkwa kwa pigo moja. Au mimi upenda mwanafunzi aseme ni tamko moja la neno, si ndio? Mm. Au sehemu ya neno inayotamkika. Sema tu ni pigo katika neno au ni tamko moja ya neno. Tamko moja katika neno umeshapata. Unajua jinsi ambavyo unaandika uh, maneno mengi ndivyo unafanya nini makosa. Si unajua hapo unatozwa. Hivyo jifunze kuandika sentensi ambazo zinatoa maana lakini zina maneno chache. Sehemu ya pili hapo katika e huku kitoa mifano eleza miundo miwili ya silabi za Kiswahili. Kuna miundo ya irabu pekee kwa mfano oa. ile o au a si ndio pia kuna muundo wa konsonanti pekee hiyo ni muundo wa irabu pekee kwa hivyo unaweka i pekee alafu kisha unaweka kistani unaweka neno o unaonyesha irabu kisha kuna konsonanti unaweka ka peke yake unaweka neno kama mtu ile ma si ndio kuna muundo wa konsonanti irabu unaandika ki kisha unaweka kistari na unaandika kwa herufi kubwa kwa mfano bata ile ba au katika dada ile da kuna muundo wa konsonanti konsonanti irabu konsonanti mbili zinafuatana kisha irabu kwa mfano neno ndege ile nde na kisha kuna silabi mwambatano ya konsonanti tatu na irabu kwa mfano neno kama nini bwea Hiyo ndiyo miundo ya silabi nimekupa nyingi na lakini unahitajika tu mbili peke yake. Fa Ainisha viambishi katika sentensi hii kimuundo na kidhamira Wat, wataonana. Ukiangalia muundo wake unaambiwa uangalie viambishi awali na viambishi tamati. Kwa hivyo viambishi awali ni wa ta, si ndio? Na viambishi tamati a na an na a si ndio ndio viambishi wataonana kwa hivyo mzizi ni on kwa hivyo wa na ta ni viambishi awali a na a, an na a ni viambishi nini tamati kidhamira si unaambiwa ugawanye jinsi ambavyo viambishi wainishwa si ndio eh hiyo ndio sasa maana ya pili hapo ya kidhamira Ukiambiwa kimundo unaonyesha tu kwa juu juu unaona nini viambishi awali tamati 
Kwanza kuna wa wa inaonyesha nini? Nafsi, si ndio? Kisha kuna nini? Kuna ta. Ta huonyesha nini? Wakati au njeo. Hata ile wa ya kwanza inaonyesha nafsi ya ungeli. An inaonyesha kauli ya kutendana. Si tumesema mzizi ni on. Na a ni kauli ya kutenda. Au unaweza kusema pia ni kishio. Swali la ga Tumia nomino yoyote katika ngeli ya kuku pamoja na kiashiria kisisitizi cha karibu kutunga sentensi. Kwa hivyo nomino hiyo katika ngeli ya kuku na nomino zetu zinaanza ziko katika ngeli ya kuku zinaanza na ku, si ndiyo? Kisha zinapachikwa kitenzi. Kwa mfano kuandika, kulima. Kwa hivyo unaweza kusema kiashiria kisitizi cha karibu si ni kitu kiko karibu kabisa, si ndiyo? Aha. Kwa hivyo kuandika kuku huku unapendeza sana. Kiashiria kinasisitiza, kwa hivyo unarudia rudia. Kuandika kuku huku kunapendeza sana. Ile sentence ukitaka kujua kama yuko katika ngeli ya kuku inabaki vile vile katika wingi, si ndio? Mm. Na lazima ule upatanisho uwepo. Swali la ha tunga sentence moja katika wakati uliopita alisiothirika. Kwa hivyo kwa mfano unasema maisha yalikuwa yamemwendea vyema. Wakati uliopita pale unaonekana na li, si ndio? Eh. Wakati usiothirika pale uno hali ya isiothirika ni ya, unatumia ile ya. Lakini ile li katika alikuwa ndio inaonyesha wakati uliopita. Kwa hivyo maisha yalikuwa yamemwendea, yamemwendea vyema. Swali la i Tunga sentensi mbili ili kubainisha maana za neno jinsi. Jinsi ni njia ya kutekeleza jambo. Na umeambua utunge sentensi kwa mfano. Kwa hivyo unaeleza maana kisha unatunga sentensi. Nionyeshe njia ya kupika chai. Pili jinsi ni mwendo. Kwa maana ya mwendo alishangiliwa kutokana na jinsi alivyocheza mpira. Alishangiliwa kutokana na jinsi alivyocheza mpira. Tatu, aina. Watu wa namna hii au watu wa jinsi hii wanahitajika kufungwa. Kwa maana ya aina. Swali lilofuata unaulizwa nini? Huku ukitoa mifano tuko hapo. Eleza matumizi mawili ya alama ya kinyota katika wakifishaji. Na lazima utoe mm, utoe mifano. Kwanza kuonyesha maendelezo mabaya. Kwa mfano unaweka kinyota kabla ya kuanza rara hapa badala ya kusema lala hapa unaweka uh, kinyota mwanzoni kabla ile raa ya kwanza kisha pili kuonyesha ufafanuzi zaidi umetolewa chini uhandisi ni muhimu alafu pale mwisho wa sentensi sehemu ya juu baada ya muhimu sehemu ya juu unaweka nini kinyota ndio unaonyesha ufafanuzi zaidi umetolewa chini kwa neno muhimu pia utumiwa kusisitiza jambo. Hiyo unaweza kutunga sentensi tu na unawekea pale juu kinyota. Swali la ja eleza nika eleza miundo mitatu ya vishanzi tegemezi na kuitolea mifano mwafaka katika sentensi. Kwa hivyo miundo ya vishanzi tegemezi kwanza vinavyohusisha o rejeshi. Kwa mfano kilichopotea ni kile. Pili vinavyohusisha kirejeshi amba Kwa mfano mwanafunzi ambaye alisajiliwa amewasili. 
kirejeshi ni ambaye alisajiliwa vinavyohusisha ki ya masharti Kwa mfano ukinitembelea nitakutuza. Ile ukinitembelea ndio unaweza kia mashati. Vinavyotokana na hali ya nge ngali na ngeli. Vinavyotokana na hali ya nge ngali na ngeli. Ungesoma kwa bidii ungepita mtiani. Hebu unapigia sehemu ya kwanza ya, ya vishanzi tegemezi ni ungesoma kwa bidii na sehemu ya pili ungepita mtiani. Tano vinavyotokana na sentensi zinazoanza kwa viunganishi. Ingawa tulimpenda sana, Mola alimpenda zaidi. Kwa hivyo ni ingawa tulimpenda sana ndio kishanzi tegemezi vinavyotokana na sentensi zinazoanza kwa viunganishi na mwisho vinavyohusisha hali ya po nivuapo na ninapovua samaki wengi utuzwa sema nivuapo samaki wengi utuzwa kwa hivyo kishanzi tegemezi pale ni nivuapo samaki wengi so here you are being asked about Jesus Peter's message about Jesus on the day of Pentecost. So he told the people that the disciples were not drunk. So that 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 is not about Jesus. So you you're only supposed to talk about two, Jesus only. So Jesus was the Son of God. That's the first point. God's power was seen in the miracles or the wonders that Jesus performed. God's power was seen in the miracles that Jesus performed. Peter also said that Jesus had been killed by the Jews because of their wickedness. You must understand the question. There are people who are talking there. God raised Jesus back to life. Jesus was a descendant of King David. Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Jesus Christ is Lord or you can say Jesus Christ is the Messiah. That is all you talked about Jesus. So you, you kindly read the question. Don't talk about the whole of the message of Peter on the day of Pentecost. Talk only about who? Jesus, according to the question. Question 4B. Explain four teachings of St. Paul on the unity in the expression of the body of Christ. Can we read 1 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 12 to 27? Wale wajavua fulana wavai fulana jamani kuna baridi we Kindly wear a sweater huh? Even if it's a home one just wear Jesus Sleep late. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
I'm waiting for someone to read. That is verse. Okay, verse twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. So Christ, like the human body, has many parts that function for the good of the whole being. As the body of Christ, the church has many members from different backgrounds. As the body of Christ, the church has many members from different backgrounds, but all have been baptized in one spirit. So all the members of the church have been baptized in one word, spirit. All members of the church have a role to play in the development of the church. So each member of the church has a role to play for the development of what? Of the church. Different members have different spiritual gifts. For example, there, there are those who have preaching, others have teaching, others have healing gifts. So they have different gifts, spiritual gifts. All members of the body of Christ are equal because they serve the same God. So all members of the body of Christ are equal because they all serve the same God. Question 4C. How is the church promoting unity in Kenya today? Through praying for unity in the country, helping the needy or providing basic needs, guiding and counseling warring tribes. Preaching the gospel of unity or preaching the gospel on unity.
Christians being role models on unity? So if you say good role models, you have to say on what? On unity. Asking for forgiveness or forgiving others, that shows unity because now if you do not, do not have issues because you forgave each other, that is uniting. The church condemns causes of disunity. And lastly, the church and the government work together to ensure justice is upheld in the society. And if there's justice, there's unity. So the government and the church work together to ensure justice is upheld in the society. Question 5A. Outline four qualities of good leisure from a Christian point of view. So what are the qualities of a good leisure? Number one, it should serve God, or it should serve God's purpose. Or you can say in basic times it should act, it should be an act of worshipping God. Number two, it should come after work. That is another quality of a good leisure, come after work. Should be used for the good of others. Or rather, you, for example, like helping the needy, yeah, should be used for the good of others. Should free from normal routine. Should free from normal routine. Should develop body, mind, and soul. Develop mind, body, and soul. Should bring people together. Or rather, it should be unite people. Should be enjoyed in moderation. I want to emphasize enjoyed in moderation. For example, if your leisure is doing what? Watching television. Yes, you are watching Christian uh, videos. You should do it. You do for like 30 minutes and you're done. Don't stay there for six hours following a series the whole night. We continue. Should not be used to escape as escape from social responsibilities should not be used as an escape from social responsibilities. Question 5b, state seven Christian teachings on family. Family is instituted by God through marriage. Monogamous, it should be monogamous. That is one wife, one what? Husband. Man is the head. Man is the head of the family. The family offers emotional support or security to the children. Should be governed by principles of love and respect. Governed by principles of love and respect. Complete with or without children. It's complete with or without children. Wife and husband plays complementary roles. They complement each other. Is if one is failing at this, the other should be able to do it, to come in and do to complement each other in their roles. Question five C In what ways can Christians use leisure to glorify God? Number one, singing in church, praying in church. Watching Christian films, visiting the sick, reading the Bible, writing Christian literature, attending Christian meetings, 
you listen to Christian music and preaching. Question 6a, explain seven ways through which Christians can contribute to the maintenance of law, order, and justice in the society. Number one is obeying and respecting authority. That is how you can comp contribute to the maintenance of law, order, and justice. Obey and respect authorities. Observe all laws. Pay taxes. Report errant members of the society. You report them to law enforcement agents or authority. Also take part in decision making of the nation. You take part in uh, decision making of the nation. Refuse to be bribed. You practice love and charity. You also respect and protect other people's property and their life. You also respect and protect people's property and their lives. Question 6b. Outline six main causes of desertification in Kenya. Where is the crop of uh, deserts? How, what are the causes? Number one is unreliable rainfall or insufficient rainfall. We are calling it unreliable because it, ca it cannot support, uh, support plants and animals. Another cause is interference of human beings with the ecosystem. Interference of human beings with the ecosystem. Deforestation or cutting down of trees causes the certification, cutting down of trees. We also have imbalances in the factors that favor growth of ve vegetation. Overgrazing, especially those pastoral communities like the Maasai. Overgrazing. Continue loss of fertile land. That is, I guess, due to human encroachment. Poor farming methods. Like people farming on the river banks or the slopes that cause the soil erosion. Question 6C. What steps is the church taking to ensure that unity and peace are restored after post-election violence? So what is the church doing? Number one, preaching love. Or they preach forgiveness for all. Condemning violence. Guiding and counseling victims. Organizing reconciliation meetings. Another way they can re uh, restore peace after post-election violence is pray for unity among communities or interdenominational prayers, praying for unity. Encour encouraging tribal intermarriages. Asking the government to beef up security in the affected areas. Any question? Eleza miundo mitatu ya vishanzi tegemezi na kuitolea mifano mwafaka katika sentensi. Kwa hivyo vishanzi tegemezi kumbuka ni vile aviwezi kujisimamia kimaana, sindiyo? Katika sentensi. Kwa hivyo vina vyo usisha o rejeshi. Kwa mfano katika sentensi kilichopotea ni kile. Kwa hivyo kilichopotea ndiyo ki, eh, kina uh, kishanzi tegemezi. Kili mundo mwingine wa kishanzi tegemezi ni vinavyohusisha kirejeshi amba. Kwa mfano mwanafunzi ambaye alisajiliwa amewasili. Kwa hivyo hapa kishanzi kitakuwa ambaye alisajiliwa na ndicho kishanzi tegemezi. Tatu ni vile vinavyohusisha ki ya mashati.
Kwa hivyo nile ya, ya, ya kulazimisha ukinitembelea nitakutunza ile ukinitembelea peke yake ndio kisha nzitegemeze sentensi ya nne vinavyotokana na hali ya nge ngali na ngeli kwa mfano ungesoma kwa bidii ungepita mtiani kwanza ungesoma kwa bidii peke yake ni kisha nzitegemeze na ungepita mtiani pia ni kisha nzitegemeze na vyote vina, vina hali ya nge tano ni vinavyotokana na sentensi zinazoanza kwa viunganishi Ingawa tulimpenda sana Mola alimpenda zaidi. Kwa hivyo sehemu ambayo na kiunganishi ni ingawa tulimpenda sana na hapo ndo kishanzi tegemezi kiko. Na mwisho vinavyohusisha hali ya po. Ninapovua samaki wengi utunzwa. Kwa hivyo ninapovua samaki wengi ndio kishanzi tegemezi. Swali la ka eleza maana ya shamirisho kipozi. Kwa namna rais unasema shamirisho kipozi ni nomino inayotendwa. Kwa hivyo mimi ukwambia kuwa ni nomino inayopokea adhari ya moja kwa moja kutoka kwa kitendo. Yaani nini kinaadhiriwa moja kwa moja na kitenzi? Swali la pili pale, Benta alimlimia mamake shamba kwa trekta anza na yambiwa si ndio yambiwa hapo ni gani mpaka ujue shamirisho yambiwa ni nini ha yambiwa ni nini hey. nani anafaidika ni mtu nani anafaidika ni shamirisho kitondo si ndio ndio upande mwingine inakuwa nini yambiwa au inaitwa yambwa tendewa si ndio hii ni kinatendewa nani anafaidika kwa hivyo unapaswa kuanza na yambiwa ambayo ni nani hapa nani anafaidika eh kwa hivyo wakati mwingi unaangalia ni nani wakati mwingi ni nilikwambia shamirisho kitondo ukiangalia kwa urahisi wakati mwingi ni mtu si ndio ni kitu chenye uhai kwa mfano ni kitu chenye uhai unaelewa lakini kipozi ni kitu wakina nini Uhai pia unaweza angalia kwa namna hiyo. Kwa hivyo tunaanza na mamake. Kwa hivyo beta alimlimia mamake shamba kwa trekta. Kwa hivyo mamake alilimiwa shamba na benta kwa trekta. Kwa hivyo andika sentensi ifuatayo atakuwa akitembea kando ya barabara jioni atakuwa akitembea kando ya barabara jioni Kwa hivyo pale wakati umeambiwa pale ma tunga sentensi yenye muundo ufuatao unaona hapo kwa kikundi nomino umeekewa nomino na kiwakilishi kapa si unaona hiyo kapa unaambiwa kuwa uh, nomino ambayo iko pale itakuwa ndani ya nini ya kitenzi unaambiwa iko ikiwekwa kapa si unaona kapa pale baada ya kiwakilishi angalia hapo wale ndani kile umepewa kwanza hey. kirai kiusishi na kielezi. Unaona hiyo sehemu ya pili? Kwa hivyo ndio maana nikakupa ile sentence atakuwa kitembea kando ya barabara jioni. Atakuwa Si ni kitenzi kisaidizi. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo pale kuna nafsi ile a. Kwa hivyo nafsi iko pale iko ndani ya nomino, iko ndani ya nini? Ya kitenzi. Akitembea si ni kitenzi kikuu. Kando ya barabara ni kirai kiusishi. Si ndio? Aya jioni ni kielezi. Tunga sentensi nyingine uniambie sasa. Tunga sentensi nyingine. Ni 
ukija utaniambia sentensi nisome sentensi zile umetunga zenye muundo huo wa nomino kapa au kiwakilishi kapa kitenzi kisaidizi kitenzi kirekiusishi na kielezi kituko umetunga sentensi hmm? soma matawi sentensi ifuatayo Kile chake kipya kinajipendekeza mno Kwanza unajiuliza hii ni sentensi ina gani? Ni ina gani ya sentensi? Twende set na eleza matumizi yoyote ya mawili ya kiambishi kuu na kuyatolea mfano mmoja mmoja wa sentensi. Kwanza hutumiwa kama kiambishi cha awali cha vitenzi jina. Kwa mfano kucheza kwa gwiji yule kulivutia ile kuu katika kucheza inaonyesha kitenzi jina kiambishi awali cha kitenzi jina pia utu, utumiwa kuonyesha shamirishwa shamirisho ama useme yabwa <coughs> kwa mfano 
yaani unasema uonyesha mtindo wa nafsi ya pili alikupiga jana au walikupiga au wakati mwingine si lazima useme kuonyesha ya bwa mtendewa si ndio nani anatendewa ile kuu ukiandika neno walikupigia ile kuu inaonyesha mtendewa pia uonyesha kiambishi cha mahali kusikodhihirika yani au unaweza kusema mahali kwa jumla kwa hivyo unaonyesha mahali kusikodhihirika au mahali kwa jumla kwa mfano huku ndiko kule anakoishi katika huku ile kuu au kule ile kuu pia ni kiambishi cha kuonyesha ukanushaji wa wakati uliopita kukanusha wakati uliopita hakufika jana alivyotarajiwa ile kuu katika hakufika kwa hivyo ni kukanusha au kukanusha, kukanusha katika wakati uliopita au ukanushaji wa wakati uliopita tano uambisho kwenye vitenzi vya silabi moja katika kauli ya kutenda alikuja jana kwa hivyo pale imeambishwa kwa ile ja sita uambishwa mwanzoni mwa vitenzi vikuu katika sentenzi yenye vitenzi sambamba kwa hivyo kama vitenzi sambamba tunasema ni zaidi ya vitenzi viwili au zaidi si ndio kwa hivyo inawekwa pale mwanzoni mwa kitenzi kikuu kwa hivyo Yesu alikuja kutuokoa ile kutuokoa si unaona ku pale kwa hivyo inawekwa mwanzoni mwa kile kitenzi kikuu kuhusu kuokoa Tunga sentenzi sahihi ukitumia kivumishi cha ki ya mfanano na kielezi cha namna kitumizi. Kwa hivyo ukiambua ki ya mfanano si unasema kama kwa mfano kama nini? Kitoto, si ndio? Eh, na lazima kiwe kivumishi. Kwa hivyo lazima kiwe kinaelezea zaidi kuhusu nini? Nomino, si ndio? Lazima kiwe kinaendelea zaidi kuhusu nomino. Kwa hivyo unasema nguo za mfalme azivaliwi na watu wanaotombea kwa miguu. Kwa hivyo kwa miguu ndio kielezi cha namna kitumizi. Yaani walitumia kitu gani kwa miguu? Kwa hiyo pale nguo za kifalme ile za kifalme ndio unaoesha ki ya mfanano. Kumbuka ki, za, za kifalme inaelezea zaidi kuhusu nguo. Si tumesema kivumishi kinaelezea zaidi kuhusu nomino. Alafu kwa miguu ni namna kitumizi. Twende pa Tunga sentensi ukitumia kitenzi cha silabi moja kinachomaanisha kuogopa katika kauli ya kutendeka. Kwa hivyo kuogopa ni kufanya nini? Ukiambiwa unazungumzia kuogopa ni kumcha Mungu. Si ni kumcha Mungu. Kwa hivyo kumcha Mungu katika kauli ya kutendeka ni ni kufanya nini? Unasema kuchika, si ndio? Kuchika. Kwa hivyo Mungu huchika katika maeneo mengi barani Afrika inatokana neno kumcha eleza maana ya papo kwa papo kamba ukatwa jiwe hii ni methali si ndio kwa hivyo methali ina maana gani ukifanya bidii hata jambo liwe na changamoto zipi hatimaye utafanya nini utalikamilisha au jambo hilo lazima litimike kwa hivyo ukifanya bidii hata jambo liwe na changamoto zipi hatimaye utimika. Na medhali ndio maana nilikuwa nakwambia Aisha usiandike Aisha medhali. Medhali ilikuwa mwaka wa elfu mbili juzi juzi tu elfu mbili kumi na ni nane ama ni kumi ni elfu mbili na ishirini Ilikuwa ndiyo Aisha medhali katika kartasi ya kwanza. Uwalangu la waridi limechanuka. Ina maana kuwa mpenzi wangu amefurahi. Ninakwambia wewe usifanye nini wakati wote usiandike zile methali. Ninakwambia wewe usiki. Ukishaona unaanza kusema wewe ume, umeelewa. Hmm. Ra tunasema baraza la wazee na nafasi cha kuni. Kwa hivyo tunasema nafasi cha kuni ni nini? Kitita vizuri. Kitita cha kuni na dashi ya nguo ni eh? eh ama bahasha ya nguo. Ajuza ni kwa mwanamke mzee. Siku hizi wanaleta haya maswali sana. Ajuza ni kwa mwanamke mzee na nafasi ni kwa msichana mchanga. Nani? Msichana mchanga. Aha. Kingoli au kigori.
ni kwa mwanamume mzee shaibu ni kwa mwanamume mzee na nafasi ni kwa mwanamume aliyebalehe ni nani kama wewe tunakuita nani gulamu au barobaro vizuri sana au rijali au shababi unaweza kutumia kwenye insha <coughs> ni msichana mvulana aliyebalehe kwa hivyo tumekamilia